the Republican Party, uh, they have created a blueprint that all of them are starting to follow. It's inhumane. Uh, for uh, the governor to uh, send uh, immigrants to Martha's Vineyard without any coordination is just creating real, a real crisis. And that is the problem that we shared uh, to our lawmakers in Washington, uh, that this is a blueprint that you're going to see start unfolding. There were 50 people, not a thousand, not 500, 50 people. My neighborhood can handle 50 people. They're asylum seekers, right? So what they needed was to have a place to stay while they're getting processed. They were in one of the richest places in the United States, a place filled with summer homes. Surely someone who loves refugees could have given them a place to stay until they're getting processed. But no, the military came. People on the internet who allegedly counted the soldiers said that there were around 250 soldiers. That would be like, what, five soldiers per immigrant? And they volunteered to go on a military base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I had five soldiers asking me if I want to go somewhere, I'd probably say yes. I don't want to even know what would happen if you say no. So, yeah, 24 hours. Now, this is what DeSantis had to say about the whole incident. Heard that the president is scrambling to get his cabinet together uh, to try to address the fact that you have governors who are helping to relocate illegal aliens to sanctuary cities. Now, he, he didn't scramble to get his cabinet together when we had millions of people illegally pouring across the southern border. He didn't scramble to get his cabinet together when you had 43, 53 migrants die in some trailer in Texas because they were neglected by the federal government. You didn't see him scramble to get his cabinet together when we had Americans that were victimized by criminal aliens that he led across the border. You didn't see him scramble to get his cabinet together when we hit record fentanyl deaths, which that fentanyl is coming across his open border. It's only when you have 50 illegal aliens end up in a very wealthy, rich sanctuary enclave that he decides to scramble on this. And so I think what we are doing. They enriched us. <laughs> oh man, you must have been quite poor in order to be enriched within only 44 hours. Like for me, the process of enrichment would take time. You see, people from different cultures would have to come here, live here. Uh, set up shops, uh, interact with the locals, and the enrichment would take at least a couple of months, if not years, but apparently for the white Democratic voters, uh, it took 44 hours. What I find fascinating is how they're pretending that this is a win. Like, this could have been such a good PR campaign for the Democrats. Again, it's 50 people. Like, this is what I want to just hammer in. 50 people! Obama could have opened the doors to his manor, give them a tiny room to sit in, and that would have been the best PR campaign before the midterms. Like, yeah, we Democrats definitely practice what we preach. We have compassion. Hey, can we bring the cameras over here? Like, can you, can you film those 50 people? Yeah, yeah, just film yeah, yeah, like that, like that. All right. Can you smile? Ah, good, perfect. We have compassion. We, we have empathy, and we are going to definitely take care, blah, blah, blah. If they would have done this... That would have been a massive PR win. But instead, they did what other people want to do, but can't. It's like, hey, can we get the military? Oh, 48 hours. Bring the military over here. All right, all right, all right. Shoo, 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 shoo. You know, and, and at the same time, they're pretending that this is a win. I mean, of course, they don't want them there because it would drive the prices down. Like if you were to build a shelter, like you build a refugee shelter over there, all of the prices go down. They say, oh, well, it's a housing crisis. Oh, meh, meh, meh. You know, like, that's fine. I'm pretty sure. Y even if 
some people that own houses in Martha's Vineyard were to sell them so that you can build affordable houses for immigrants, the housing association would have felt in, yay, like a horse high on ivermectin. Because of course they wouldn't want that. Like the, the prices go down. Why do you think the people in border towns do not like it? Oh, it's because they're racist. No, oh, a simple explanation. Just hand waving with one word that we understood the issue. No, it's because their housing prices goes down. It's because their facilities are under strain. The New York mayor recently, you know, after having right-wingers bossing <laughs> migrants to New York, which is a sanctuary city, by the way, is now complaining about the strain that it puts on various facilities. Yeah, no fucking shit. This is like a, an environmentalist that in a neighborhood is upset that the neighbors are throwing all the plastic and he's like, you know what, just give them to me because I want to recycle. Just just give me all your plastic and I'll recycle, right? But he only does it to virtue signal. The moment that the neighbors actually bring the plastic to his yard and his entire yard is now filled with plastic bottles, he goes, Ree! And, and the, the funniest thing is like showing how detached most of the people on Martha's Vineyard are compared to the reality of the situation and the plight of the common man. They talk about sweet gestures and they talk about how, oh, everyone wanted to help and they gave hugs and there were people filming and uh, they brought them sweets. Bring them food! Why would you bring them fucking sweets? Like, where is the steak? Where's the ravioli? Where's the mashed potatoes? It is Martha's fucking vineyard. Surely you have money to actually feed 50 people. Sweets? Did you go to a kindergarten? You wanted them to be 48 hours on a sweet? Well, of course they went to a church. And I assume that... Oh, well, you know, we live in a secular society. Oh, what do Christians do? Well, I assume the church probably fed those people. Properly. Bringing them sweets. Oh my freaking god. But anyway, right, you know, I, I mean... This, this is what... I, I can't really blame them. Because... The people, they genuinely think they're doing something good, right? So you give a choco snicker bar to uh, a refugee and you're like, Oh, I did my virtue for the day. Give him fucking money so he can buy his own food then. Like when the war with Russia started over the border and we had Ukrainian refugees come into my town. Do you know what I gave? I gave what other people gave. We gave canned food. They need to eat. Why do you mean you give a snicker bar? It needs food. Nourishment, nutrition, important. It's just completely detached. It's almost like it's it's a movie that's walking in and it enriched them. Yes, well, uh, I wonder if there's going to be now, you know, because now they're like, well, the problem is it wasn't organized. No one expected them. Okay, you know, I, I'm curious if uh, they're going to build a center on Marfa's Vineyard, so that the next time, they can expect them, because that, that's what I understand, like, all these people, they're open borders, they, they want refugees, like, they desire, they covet it, right? So, I understand, the problem is that now, it took them by surprise. But hopefully, I mean, they're, they're going to build something there, right? Like, some affordable housing or something on the island. Surely they can find the possibility on the richest place, on the, oh, there's a housing cry, oh, yeah, yeah. As if there's not a housing crisis everywhere. You know, like, look, if California can take some, I'm pretty sure, like, the Martha's Vineyard can take at least 50. At least 50. Can you, can you not take 50? I'm sure they can take 50. Let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.